In this video, we're going to be looking at one of the most missed questions on the test. We'll be focusing on the coordinate plane. It looks like this, and there are a variety of different questions that you may be asked based on the coordinate plane. But before we get to some of the actual questions based on it, first let's see what makes it up. There is a line that runs from left to right. We call this the X line or the X axis. It's basically a number line. That's why in the middle of it you have a zero. All the numbers to the right of it are positive numbers. So one, two, and three. All the numbers to the left of it are negative numbers, like negative one, negative two, and negative three. Then we also have a line that runs from top to bottom. We call this the Y line or the Y axis. Again, there's zero in the middle. All the numbers above zero are positive, so one, two, and three. The numbers below zero are what are negative, so negative one, negative two, and negative three. Sometimes these lines are labeled for us, like I have an X here and a Y there. Sometimes, however, they're not labeled for you. But just remember that you read from left to right and top to bottom. So X comes before Y, so you read left to right first before you move down. One of the questions you may be asked to answer is where is a point located within the coordinate plane? So let's say I had a point bubbled in right here. Now they want to know where this point is. To find this point we have to use what are called coordinate pairs. They're a set of numbers separated by a comma and they're within a set of parentheses. The first number always refers to the X line, and the second number always refers to the Y line. Again, X always coming before Y. So what they want to know is, if you start at zero, right here in the middle, how far to the left or right, because that's what X is talking about, how far to the left or right do we have to move to find this dot? From zero, we move over one, two places. So the X value on this one is two. Now from here, how far up or down or along the Y line do we have to move? In this example, we only move up one space. So the Y value in this problem is one. So this point is located at two comma one. Within this example, both of our numbers, X and Y, were positive because we moved right along the X line and up along the Y line. But what if we were right over here? First of all, try this one on your own and see what you get. If you need more time, you can always pause the videos. So remember, we have to have the X value first and then the Y value. So starting at zero, this dot is one place to the left. So it's a negative one for the X. Now from here, do we move up or down? We move up two places. And because we're moving up, that's going to be a positive value. So on this one, the Y is going to be a positive 2. That dot is located at negative 1, 2. You can have two positive numbers, a negative and a positive, or even two negative numbers. Don't be thrown by any of these answers. Just remember that you always start in the middle at 0, move left or right first, and then move up or down. A different type of question may give you the coordinate pair and ask you to bubble in where that point is located. A, B, C, D, and E. We'll do A together. This one we have a point located at 2 comma negative 2. So just remember that X always comes first. It may help to actually label these on your papers as X comma Y. So with X coming first, we'll start at 0. That's a positive 2 on the X line, so we move to the right two places. From here we have to move down on the Y line, negative two places. So this one's going to go right here. Now you try B, C, D, and E. Don't be surprised if D and E throw you, so if you want to, pause the video and try them, but we will go through them together. B is located at 1, 2. So starting at 0, we move to the right a positive 1. And then on the Y line, we move a positive 2. So we move up 2 places. 
So B is going to be right there. C is located at negative 1, comma, negative 1. So we move to the left, negative 1, and down, negative 1, so that C is located right there. Now, as I said, D and E might have been a little bit tricky, because so far we hadn't had a 0. But let's look at D. The X value on it is 1. So you start in the middle, and you move to the right one place. Now the Y value is 0, so that means that we don't move up or down either one. We're going to stay right there on that line. So D is actually on that line at that point right there. So E, if the X value is 0, we don't move left or right at all. We stay right here. But Y tells us to move up one place on this line so that E is actually located right there. So if you have another point, let's call it point F, and it's at 0, comma, 0. Well, that one is right in the middle because we didn't move left or right or up or down. So that one stays right in the middle. A different type of question you may be asked will involve you moving a point or completing a shape or doing something else with a point that's already there. On this one, we have a point located at 2, comma, 2. From 0, we move to the right two places and up two places. So that one is already given for us. But let's say that we were asked to move that point two places to the left and three places down. So from here, if I move two places to the left, I move over one, two places. So it's right here. Some students are tempted to bubble in spaces as they move their dot around. I would suggest against this though because any stray dots, if they're bubbled in dark enough, will be considered a wrong answer on your test so you'll actually miss the question. So if you do bubble things in as you move your way across, don't forget to go back and erase them. But we've moved two places to the left so we're right here on the line. Now we also need to move this point three places down. So I'll move it one, two, three places. Don't forget that you have to count zero if you cross that line. So now our dot is located right here. Sometimes you may only have to bubble that in like I did. You may actually have to tell where is this point located. So go ahead and pause the video if you want to figure out where it is before I give the answer. Before you tell where this point is though, you have to remember that you start at zero. So from zero, we didn't move left or right. So its x value is 0. But we did move down one place, so it's located at 0, comma, negative 1. Just remember that you may have started here with your dot to move it. You actually have to start back at 0 to figure out where this new dot is located.